Okay, in this video we're going to mostly be working on the road in the foreground. But before we get there, I want to delineate the uh, edges of that middle ground cornfield. So we're going to start with the dark green mix and paint the shadowed edge in first. Then we're going to switch to that lighter, this is the foreground shadow color mix. And we're going to use that to paint the edges of the corn as it goes down along the curve in the road. Now, I haven't... Uh, taken any more palette shots here so I'm just going to be describing my palette colors to you as we go soften up that edge a little bit and we'll just Blend a little bit of this green color into the wet sienna color of the uh, tassel tops. A little highlight here in the front corner. Okay, now we're going to start blocking in the road, and this is mostly white <clears throat> with a little bit of ultramarine and a little bit of burnt sienna, same colors we've been using. This is the lit area of the road, and I'm working around my center. Uh, strip of grass there. Lighten it at the very back as it goes around the bend. Okay, now this is the shadow where the tree shadow falls across the road. This is pretty much the same we mix we used on that background, the furthest background hill. Uh, this has a little more burnt sienna than that other mix did. It's a little bit warmer than that. But uh, basically it's the same ultramarine burnt sienna and white mix. And we'll just run that across the road.
Okay, now when we get to the grass here, we're going to go back to our green mix. And just run the tips of the shadow out over into the grass. Now I've darkened up the mix a little bit with a, a little more uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine. And I'm going to start modeling the edge of the grass where it makes a little uh, hump as it comes up off of the stones. Sorry, I'm off of cameras off the canvas here in this corner. I wasn't paying attention. Now that shadow color is still wet, so this is a wet into wet blending I'm doing here. Still underpainting. We'll be coming back later and detailing that with more darks and lighter highlights on top of that. But just getting the basic modeling. Okay, now we're starting on the grass strip that divides the lane down the center. There's the shadow part of it. Now we'll go back to the light green mix. And now we'll just finish this little foreground strip of lit lane. And we'll put some highlighted areas in where the sun is making it through the breaks in the trees. Okay, now I'm going to increase the contrast here as the lane recedes off into the distance. I'm just going to lighten up the two tracks. See how that brings out the shadow color a little bit. It also helps define the uh, grass strip in the middle a little better. And that's about it for the uh, underpainting. I believe we're ready to go start on the middle ground uh, trees and buildings in the next video.